What's going on guys? Welcome back to another hunting boot camp. Today I am going over dove hunting tips. So if you are new to dove hunting or maybe you've only gone out a couple times, hopefully these tips will help you be more successful this upcoming season. So the first tip, and this is just like waterfowl hunting and pretty much any type of hunting, is get out and scout. So scouting is important in all types of hunting because it gives you an idea of kind of what's out there. You need to go out and scout so you have a better idea of what, what the terrain looks like, what the conditions are, what the numbers are, and it doesn't matter for doves, ducks, deer, I don't care. You need to get out and do some scouting before you head out to be more successful. So for doves, um, obviously you're looking for a lot of birds. If you find an area with a lot of birds, you might want to try and get permission on that or head to an opening day if it's public or you already have permission. But also when you see a lot of birds in an area, kind of take note of what's around that they might be attracted to. So for doves, this would be anything like, are there big trees that they like to roost in or perch in? Are there food sources available? You know, sunflowers, small grains, stuff like that. Is there bare dirt around or is there a water source available? All those are gonna be kind of areas where doves are gonna congregate and kind of keep an eye on that. And if you start to pick up those things, you know, you see a lot of birds in these areas, where maybe there's sunflowers or something, and you see sunflowers somewhere else, probably gonna have a pretty good chance at seeing doves there in the future as well. So get out and scout, look for those areas where those birds are congregating. Now is the perfect time to do so because you only have about three weeks before dove season opens, and they tend to migrate fairly early. I know in my area right now, we have a ton of doves around. Right now, get out and scout, go find those areas, the feed areas, the roost areas, the water areas. Go find those, knock on some doors, get permission, and you'll have a lot better chance of getting some birds. So the next tip is camel up. Now, dove hunting, doves aren't as wary as ducks are, but they can, you know, they can see color, they do see movement. So you should at the very least wear like neutral tone colors, brown, tan, um, and try to just camel up in natural cover, be it standing under a tree, or you know even making kind of a little blind out of some bushes or grass or whatever don't just stand out there in like a red t-shirt and pass you you can get some that way but you'll be a lot more successful if you kind of build a blind and camel up because then they won't be as wary they'll be more likely to fly in your general direction so the next tip involves your gun um, specifically the choke tube so this is my dove gun it's my Remington 870 20 gauge also use it for teal and pheasant, stuff like that. But I always have an improved cylinder in here just because I like a wide open pattern for doves. I would recommend going with that, either an improved or a modified, especially starting out. I know some people like to use extra tight chokes just because it, they say it helps hone in their shooting abilities. I would not recommend that starting out. I would go with an improved or a modified. You'll have a lot bigger pattern and with the shot size you're using, more likely to hit those small targets like doves. So going off of that, the next tip, like I just mentioned, is what size of shot you should use. Anywhere from eight to sixes are gonna be the recommended size of shot for dove hunting. But the small pellets with that wide open choke will give you a really good pattern. And make sure you pattern your gun beforehand, um, you know, with your shot. So if you're using seven and a half or eight or six, you know, pattern it with your choke that you're using so you know what your pattern is at whatever yardage you're comfortable shooting. But generally, eight to six is the recommended dove shot load. The next tip is when to hunt, and this is very similar to pretty much a lot of other types of hunting. Doves, like most other animals, are gonna move generally in the morning and the evening hours. So any time in that time frame will be really good for the movement. So, you know, sunrise to sunset, those an hour or two before or after those, you're gonna have probably your most success. Not to say you can't have success during the middle of the day. Uh, it just goes into that scouting. You gotta scout where the birds are that time of day. But in the mornings and the evenings, you know, they're gonna be heading to those roost areas or heading out to their food areas. You just gotta really scout them out, find out what their flight patterns are, where they're going, at what time, and you'll have success. But Generally the best times are gonna be morning and evening. So the next step is where to hunt, and I've kind of already alluded to this already. So doves really like to feed on those small grains, the millets, sorghum, wheat, sunflowers, 
you know, they, they like those small seeds, they'll eat annual weeds, stuff like that is what they're going to primarily be feeding on. So if you can find their food source, you're probably going to find the birds. And, you know, some game and fish, game and parks organizations, they plant sunflower plots, sorghum plots just for doves and other species, and you can have really good luck hunting those areas. But some other areas you can look for are tree lines. Uh, you know, doves like to roost in trees and they'll fly from the trees over to their food source or over to get water, which is another good spot to hunt if you can hunt like a pond or um, if you're in a drier area, maybe like a cattle tank or just a dugout. Especially water areas with bare ground are going to be really good because the doves like that bare ground. They can find the seeds a lot easier that fall off the plants. So if you find bare ground, water, trees, or their food source, those are the four main areas I would look to hunt. And if you can find those in fairly close distance to each other, just do your scouting and there should be birds in that area. But if you find any of those four areas, you know, scout them out, look for where the birds are, look for when they're flying, and head that way opening day. So the next tip is what to bring with you out dove hunting. And the most important item I would say is a five gallon bucket. So this thing can hold everything else you're gonna need to bring, like your sunscreen, you know, it's gonna be bright and sunny generally, it's still summer, you wanna protect yourself from the sun, uh, thermocell and bug spray, just keep the mosquitoes and ticks and all the other bugs away from you, and then water, you gotta stay hydrated, it can be really warm out dove season, so you wanna stay really hydrated. Also shotgun shells, that's pretty general, and then binoculars so you can see where the doves are going if they're not in your area. And that goes all on your five gallon bucket. And once you get out there, you can just sit on your bucket, use it as a seat, put your birds in it after you're done shooting them. Uh, and then you just walk in and walk out easily, the most important item, and then those other items as well. Next tip is what to wear dove hunting. So like I said, it can be very warm during dove season. So you want at the very least a camo t-shirt or something tan or light brown, one of those neutral based colors, just so you're not, you know, warning the doves that you're out there with a bright red or orange or blue or whatever color t-shirt you have. Um, some people wear the long sleeves. I'm not a big fan of those. Uh, if you camo, if you have kind of like a little blind or you're sitting under a tree or something, you don't really need them. You just wear something so you can stay cool. You can wear jeans, you can wear camo pants, it's really up to you. And then some light, either tennis shoes or hiking boots, depending on your area, and a camo hat. So the next tip is about decoys. You don't need them for dove hunting, but they can help. So you can go out and buy them at Walmart or any sporting goods store. They're not too expensive. I think they're like $5 for a pair or something, or they're not very expensive. But you can go out, you can buy dove decoys, you can buy mojos, and I have heard that the mojos, the spinning wing decoys will work. And you can actually use your duck hunting mojos if you want to, they will attract the doves in as well. And you can also make them out of cardboard. So to make a dove decoy out of cardboard, all you gotta do is get a silhouette, kind of just draw it, and then just paint it gray. Maybe you can add as much detail as you want, but you put them up on like a fence post or a little, just something that it looked like the dove would perch on a fence line or something, and they will attract birds in. So they definitely can help, but they're not necessary. Once again, it goes back into your scouting. Um, if you're in an area where the birds wanna be, you can definitely get by with no decoys, but they can definitely help. And the final tip, and this goes out to the guys without dogs, like yours truly, is after the shot, if you have a bird down, get out there and retrieve that bird immediately. Don't wait for more birds to come over because that's a good way to lose birds. Doves are really small. They don't really stick out a lot because of their color scheme, and they can be really easy to lose in thick cover. So if you're hunting like thick wheat stubble or tall grass or whatever, you know, make sure you get a line on that bird and go out there and f try to find it immediately. Otherwise you could lose those birds. But that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave me a thumbs up. Always helps me out. Drop a comment. Let me know what your thoughts were guys. Did I miss anything for dove hunting tips? If I did, be sure to leave it down below. So anybody who's new to dove hunting or wants more dove hunting advice experience, you know, they can look down in the comments and find those tips as well. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay up to date with the latest hunting boot camps. We have three more of these left before dove hunting season opens and then teal season, and then we will be busy with hunting. But we have three more left. They're gonna be more teal hunting focused, I believe. 
but if you want more teal hunting tips, those are coming out very shortly. And then we have hunting videos, fishing videos, and cooking videos as well. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the little bell right next to it so you can never miss another video. And we will catch you out there, guys. See ya.